Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a La Soufriere St. Vincent Volcano update Tuesday, April 13th, around noon, Mountain Time, 2021. Vigorous eruption sent ash to 35,000 feet this morning. The volcano produced another powerful eruption this morning at 637 local time, as confirmed by VOC. Washington, also by local observers, social media, and the videos I'm about to show you. A spectacular dense and dark ash plume rose several kilometers above the summit crater up to the troposphere boundary to an altitude of 35,000 feet. The ash column was seen from the Jade Mountain Resort located in St. Lucia Island, 60 kilometers to the north, as visible in the attached image. Take a look at that shot. Absolutely spectacular. We have the GOES satellite up. And you can see uh, here, there is the eruption happening just moments ago. Ooh, let's blow that up. The ghost doesn't seem to want to be working for us right now. Yeah, and I got it back up and running, but it's running slow. Here you can see the transition to morning, which triggers that huge explosion. Uh, and there you see it, the plume growing and moving towards Barbados which is about 75 miles to the east here. It's going to darken Barbados. Let that run through. It is moving so slow. That's because I have other videos parsed up. I apologize. But it's the best we can do here. I'm trying to report on an ongoing or uh, continuous eruption here at St. Vincent at La Soufriere. And this would be about the seventh major explosion in three or four days. And here we have some video of this morning's eruption. So we're going to just blow this up for you, for your viewing pleasure. As you can see, not an insignificant event, especially when you add Good morning, guys. all of the puffs up. Here it is again this morning. There has been another explosion, as you can see in the distance. Large plumes of ash have been thrown into the air. So here we have another episode in the days of our lives. He seems real excited about that. And it's, it's got to really be very difficult if you're living and watching this day after day. So what I also have to share with you is an actual live stream of the volcano. And it is erupting currently. So here we see a live stream of La Soufrière currently erupting live. I uh, didn't know there was a live stream for it. It's not very high resolution or that could be my satellite, but I'll leave you links below to the live stream of La Soufrière. And that's not all happening. The Fagradersfall volcano in the Reykjanes Peninsula has opened up in six places now. The fifth and sixth eruptive fissure opened today. Another eruptive fissure opened today, exactly fifth and sixth in a row. A new vents located between the first. We predicted that this would be a continuous fissure only yesterday. And I guess it only took 24 hours to come true. So La Soufriere exploding again in a beautiful fashion this morning. And many of the scientists are saying that this is going to be a repeat of the 1902 event, which lasted for six weeks categorized as VEI-4 and definitely will affect some weather patterns. Now this has the potential to even be bigger than that. No one knows. But what we do know is that there seems to be a continuous explosion every sunrise. When the sun comes across here, boom, there's a big explosion. Yesterday it happened at 4.15 a.m. This morning, 6 a.m. Now, this pales in, pales in comparison to the large amount of SO2 that was put out days ago during the initial phase of the eruption. But still an active system here and currently erupting. It looks like it just stopped, actually. So I don't know what this live stream is showing at all. There's weird music with it, but go take a look at all these resources uh, the video of the huge eruption at La Soufrière this morning. So it's a nice, nice sunny morning. Clear blue skies. Well, in the west. But 
here we see on the 42nd anniversary of the 1979 volcanic eruption we have another massive eruption ash already miles in the air for those folks who started to clean up already you can say that is a good thing so very interesting 42 years to the day since the last major eruption at this volcano 42 years to the day and we're also seeing a cyclic pattern of from night to day that's when the baby blows up right when it right at morning we seem to have an explosion so we'll see if there's another explosion later today or in the morning but la soufriere another explosion vigorous eruption sending ash 35,000 feet this morning and that's a boom a Caribbean boom. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a grand solar minimum world. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love you. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Ding, ding, ding.